hey lovelies it's your girl joanne you're very welcome to this channel if you're new to this channel you're welcome please click the subscribe button if you've not subscribed to this channel yet today i'm bringing you another interesting tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this trendy dress you're seeing here on your screen trust me you're going to like every bit of this tutorial so if you're interested let's go for this tutorial, I'm making use of a white cardboard paper. Choose any other pattern paper you deem fit. But I feel this is okay for me because it, it, it's kind of stable compared to other ones I've been using. So I'm going to be dividing this paper into two equal halves. And I'll keep one aside because I'll be using one for the front panel and the other one for the back panel. So I'll start by taking my body measurement, my vertical measurement, and first off, I'm marking one inch, okay? That will serve as my shoulder line and also my starting point line. Going now ahead to use my ruler to mark a straight line. So it basically means all my measurements will begin from that line, my shoulder line. So I'm going to be taking my bust line, which is 10 inches. I'll go down, take my under bust line, which is 14 inches. But I, I came down by half of an inch. That is 14.5 inches because I'm going to be making a rush around the bust side. So I want it to sit right directly on my under bust. And my half length is 18 inches. So I'm connecting this line using my straight ruler now. I'm going to be labeling these lines for you to understand, especially the beginners. So, going over to my bust line, I'm going to be labeling that line as bust line. Next line will be my under bust line. Then the last line will be my waist line. So on my shoulder line, I'm going to be determining my shoulder measurement, which is 16 inches divided by 2, and my neck width, which is 3 inches. Where I have my shoulder measurement, I'm coming down by 1 inch to connect my shoulder slope. So I'm connecting from where I came down by 1 inch to the 3 inches I marked for my neck width. So from the shoulder slope, I'm going to be marking half of my shoulder measurement which is eight inches so i'm going to make sure that i'm on point so from there i'll be connecting from the shoulder slope to that point there using my straight ruler i'll be extending that line across Next thing is to take my nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple is 8 inches divided by 2 gives me 4. So I'll be marking from the center of the front pattern. I'll go over to my waistline and do the same thing. I'll connect this line. This now serves as the apex line. Next thing, I'll be connecting my dart leg. So to connect my dart leg, I'm going to come down from my bust point one inch. So from my waistline, I'll be coming out, going out by one inch and coming in by one inch. Then after that, I'm going to be connecting those lines. I'll make a line to the bust where i came down one inch from my boss points this now will serve as my dart leg so i'm done taking my dart leg next thing i'll be doing is to add, mark my my armhole curve so to mark my armhole curve i'm going to be taking half of my armhole measurement which is four inches my ammo measurement is eight inches okay taking half of that which is four inches then i'll come in by 0 0.75 inches i'll make a mark where i marked half of my ammo measurements then from there i'm going to be connecting the curve but before then i'll be marking my bust measurements 
then I'm going to be connecting from the 0 0.75 inches to where I marked my bust measurement using my cuff rule. Next, I'm going to be using a straight rule to connect from where I have the 0 0.75 to the top of my shoulder. So for now, we are basically done with connecting the marking the armhole curve. So next thing I'll be doing is to adjust this armhole because this dress is an off shoulder. So where I have my bust the end of my hammer curve okay like my bust when where my bust measurement ended i'm going to be marking half inch down and come to the my hammer line and mark half inch down next thing from where i have my hammer line I'm going to be going in by half of an inch okay so from there i'm going to be marking 2.5 inches from the end of my ammo i'm going to be coming up by 2.5 inches and this is how you're going to be placing your tape to get that measurement i made a, a point there for me to know where i'll be coming in by 0 0.75 so after making that point simply coming by 0 0.75 inches so from that 0 0.75, I'll be marking my new armhole. I'll connect it to where I, I went in by half of an inch. I hope you're following what I'm doing. So this is my new armhole now, okay? Don't be confused, okay? It's easy. From my bus line, I'm going to be coming up by two inches and after that i'll be connecting that line to my new armhole so for now we are done with the ammo next thing i'll come up from the under boss by one inch coming up by one inch from the under bust this is to help me get my desired cuff all right so i'm placing my cuff rule now to make a curve from the one inch i came up with and i'm going to be connecting to my to close to my dart leg next thing i'm going to be connecting the other part of my cup and from where i came in by half of an inch i'm going to be connecting it to my under bust but i'm going to be using a free hand to get this curve all right so i'm marking dotted lines this is to serve as a guide for me then I'm, i'll be using my cuff rule to connect the dotted lines together So if you don't have your ammo cuff, if you don't have your cuff rule, whatever, you can go ahead and use your free hand to get this cup. So next thing, I'll be taking my desired body measurements. I've already taken the bust measurements, which is 4, 10 inches. So the under bust measurement divided by, by 4, I'm going to be replace, replacing my darts, which is 1 inch. Then I'll connect from my bust line and I'm connected to the under bust. So on my waistline, I'm going to be taking my waist measurements, divide by four, replace my dart on that waist part and connect the line. Next thing I'll do is to shade this that leg for you to know that here this side I'm shading is I'm going to be cutting it out then the other part I'm going to be shading it with a different 
marker okay i'll be shading it with a blue marker to tell me that i'm not supposed to cut this part out i'm not cutting the dart around the boss side because we are going to be cutting and slashing that part around the boss i hope you understand we are going to be cutting slashing and spreading that part around the bust so next thing is to take my allowance i took one inch for my allowance you can go as far as taking 1.5 inches or two inches but i feel one inch is fine by me so i'll show you how you're going to be cutting this part out i've already labeled this this pattern the cup side i label this at at the cup then the center front and the side front i hope you understand so i'm going to be cutting this pattern out now please watch the way i'm cutting it out so you don't get confused cutting from the down parts i'm going to be cutting the the allowance the my side and the arm hole then i'll put that away i won't be needing that one so next thing is to cut the cup side now I'm going to be cutting the cup parts note that we are not cutting the dart around the cup part out because we are going to be slashing the cup and spreading it i hope you understand so it's only the dart around the waist i'm cutting out as you can see so this is how the front is looking and it's looking very beautiful already so i'm going to be cutting the back panel now moving on i'll be labeling the back panel so this is my shoulder line i labeled that shoulder line this is my ammo line and this is my bust line this is my under bust line and my waistline so it is basically what i did for the front i am doing for the back but it's just that the back has little adjustment so where the ammo line is i'm going to be marking that line across extending the line so next thing is to mark my nipple to nipple measurements which is eight inches divided by by two which is four inches using my straight ruler now to connect those points together all right and this now serves as the apex line so next thing is to take my dart leg going up by one inch and coming in by one inch i'm going to be connecting it all the way to my ammo line like so That was done with that next thing is to adjust my ammo and i'm going to be making my ammo curve i'll come in by half of my ammo measurement which is four inches come in by by 0 0.75 then i'm going to be marking my bust line so it can help me determine my ammo curve next i'm going to be using my curve rule to connect from where i have the 0 0.75 to my bust measurements so i'll use my street ruler now to connect to the tip of my shoulder next thing is to do exactly what i did for the front around the ammo because this is an off shoulder so where i have my the end of my ammo i'm coming down by one inch and coming down here by one inch to half inch sorry guys so i'm going to be marking a straight line there using my ruler so i'll go in by half of an inch from that line so from the end of my shoulder my ammo i'm going to come up by 2.5 inches i make a mark there and connect come up by half inch from my ammo line and connect to where I have that 2.5 inches so if you notice I didn't use a straight ruler here because I want the back to have a bit of a curve all right so for this back you can go as far as go as far as 10 inches it totally depends on what you want okay I don't want my back to be that open so that is why I came up by half of an inch i've already connected my new ammo basically what i did for the front is what i'm doing here at the back i hope you're following so next thing i'm taking my dart 
my body measurement my bus measurement i replaced the dart around the bus side so i'm taking my under bus measurement now i'm replacing the darts here also i'm going to be connecting from my bust line to my under bust so going over to my waistline i'll be marking my waistline my waist into four then i'm marking replace my darts and connect from my under bust to my waist So there's nothing to the back guys this is basically it for the back i'm going to be shading this that all right i'm extending this that leg to me to my my new bust line so i'm shading this that so that it will remind me that i'm going to be cutting it out so for if you notice i did not add any zipper to it when i'm cutting on my fabric i'll be adding a zipper allowance to it so i'm taking my necessary allowance now which is one inch exactly the way i did for the front so guys we are done for this with the back panel i'm leveling this the the side center back and the side back so i'm going to be cutting this out starting from the neckline my ammo then i'll be cutting the excess around the waistline and the side so next i'll be cutting out these darts So at this point guys we are basically done with the cutting tutorial almost actually almost done we're not done yet because we'll be slashing and spreading this cup side so i'm taking 1.5 inches apart you can do two inches you can do one inch but 1.5 inches is fine by me i'm going to be using my straight ruler to connect the points so at this point if you're still here watching this video it means you like it please guys take your time and subscribe to this channel like this video if it's helpful please share to your friends to your family they may want to learn please thank you guys so i'm going to be using my scissors to cut through this part i marked all right this and i labeled it please after marking with your straight ruler endeavor to label them in order not for you to get confused by the time we are going to be spreading this i hope you understand so next thing now i'll keep this aside and bring another pattern paper i'm folding this pattern into two sorry guys i ran short of pattern paper so this is what i had left that is why i made use of this and it's a bit rumple it's kind of rumple please bear with me guys so i'm going to be I'm, i made a line there that line now will serve as my new bust line so i'm going to be labeling that line as bust line so on the white pattern paper my cup where i have that line i'm going to be placing it exactly on the new bust line so everything has to sit perfectly well if you notice i add i kept an allowance okay where i'll be making a fold so i kept half inch i'll be making a tiny fold around the the center of the bust okay when i'm stitching it so i'm marking three inches apart 
hope you understand what I'm doing here I'm marking three inches apart and I'm placing it after placing the number one I mark three inches and placed the number two then I'm going to be doing the same thing I'll mark three inches and place the number three then I'm using my paper tape to help put the pattern in place so I'm going to be marking three inches and place the number four taking note that making sure that the lines are aligned so for the last one I'm marking three inches and I'm going to be using my paper tape to keep it in place if you notice I made sure that the lines are aligned after I'm done with that I'm going to be using my marker now to connect the lines like so all right i'm marking on the brown paper and because the the brown paper now is going to be our new cup all right don't forget that this part we are going to be making a gathered we are going to be gathering this part this new cup okay we'll be gathering it all right so that is why you're saying it like this it looks a bit shapeless but don't worry after gathering it it will come out perfectly well so i'm doing the same thing on the bot upper part so from the upper part i'll come up by by one inch i'm coming up by one inch because i'll be folding that part to pass my rope all right you can pass your rope or your elastic it totally depends on which one you want to use if you feel you cannot you cannot manage one inch you can do 1.5 or 2 inches or one inch is fine by me so next thing is to add my allowance around the 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 underboss parts I'm adding half of an inch so this thing I'm doing adding allowance here I'm not going to be adding any allowance while I'm cutting on my main fabric because I've already added the allowance here so I'm cutting this part out this is now our new cup so this is how it is it's very easy I'm taking off the the old cup won't we'll be making use of this old cup all right it is useless for now so this is how the new cup is going to be gathering these parts i'm going to bring the front and the back panel and place it for you guys to see all right so this is the back panel and the front panel and the brown pattern paper is our cup our new cup we're going to be gathering that part so at this point we've come to this end of this tutorial guys i'm going to be posting the sewing part of this video so stay tuned for our next one thank you so much for watching and do have a nice day bye